an ancestral skill, which is now threatened. In Gariane, in northwestern Libya, also known as the capital of pottery, this has long been the pride and joy of the town. The orca earth drawn from the neighboring Jebel Musa Mersif is transformed into clay before being shipped into a dish, pot or jack. This is part of our identity and part of the specialities that express the identity of Libya. But since the 1980s, this craft has been in constant decline as it has not kept up with modernization and today is severely lacking in manpower. There is a lack of basic materials which we have to import at high prices and there are also few workers because of a lack of craft schools. With an aging workforce and increasingly tough foreign competition, as well as products imported at a lower cost from Turkey and China, it is difficult to be competitive in a country which has been in the grip of chaos since the fall of the Gaddafi regime in 2011. The banking system is archaic and the foreign exchange regulations are very protectionist, not to mention the logistical problems. Despite everything, some people still have faith in Gariane pottery and are banking on online sales to save it. We try to make it easier to transport the pottery to Libyans living outside the country. In Britain, Germany, America and Canada as a first step. It was a great experience at first. Then we experienced problems with shipping such as packaging as we didn't have very good materials for packaging. So we invested in that part of the project. Ali has not yet stepped into online business but he knows that this will help his craft survive. While waiting for his turn to be equipped to ship his pottery, he continues to mold his pieces and decorate them with natural pigments, as he has done for 25 years, and as his father did before him.